Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Heat 4! And in this episode of our season with Stuart Friesen's number 52 Hallmark Chevrolet, we're going to be completing race 18, and that is the Chevy Silverado 250 at Canadian Tire, the one and only road course in the truck series. Okay, this is the beginning of an entire epidemic for NASCAR Heat 4. I, I swear, every episode that we have to race at a road course, except maybe Watkins Glen, it is going to be titled minivan, parts, etc., etc. And this is the first one, because I just know, anytime I go into turn four or five, whatever it is, the truck likes to go, woo, like it's, like it's like way high off the ground, and it's top-heavy and crap. But look at it, does that look top-heavy? Anyways, last episode, we raced at Bristol, finished in third place after coming to the final restart in last. We got four tires, and the AI, they never took a pit stop because they give you enough fuel to make the end of the race. It was so predictable. I could have won, but I didn't want to do that, and I just I didn't feel like it. And I, you know, I don't want to raise my ego too high with this game. I got to give everybody else a chance. And so Brett Moffat is locked into the next round. So I think this is the second race, and then we have like one more of the first round. We've got a second round, and then the final race uh, for the third round. But uh, yeah, there's Brett Moffat right there, advanced with 35 playoff points. We've got 54, and we are 59 points ahead of the cut line. Right now, Austin Hill and Jordan Anderson are underneath it. And Austin Hill's been very consistent, but he hasn't actually won anything this season. So, that's uh, pretty surprising. And Jordan Anderson, he won Dover, and that's how he got here. So, of course, he's already 19 points below it. Um, I really want to see Matt Crafton get in there. could care less about Grandfinger. And then, of course, uh, I like Ross Chastain. Harrison Burton has gotten on my nerves this season by taking away every win that I choke away. <laughs> uh, and I'm glad to see Brett Moffin being competent. But Canadian Tire, I like racing here. It's just um, the, the whole minivan thing is, well, here we go. So how exactly did I find out about this uh, this top-heavy minivan crap? Uh, I wanted to race the trucks at Sonoma because it's got a carousel, and plus we can race the trucks at Sonoma for the first time in a NASCAR game, except for maybe NR 2003. But that's that's not a NASCAR game. That's a, a, a modded pile of greatness that I should not insult in front of people that um, like it and appreciate it. But uh, yeah, I, I went to the carousel and I could not go through the carousel for the life of me at all without tipping the damn vehicle over. And I tried the cup cars, couldn't do it there. I, I couldn't do anything over that track without tipping the damn thing over. I like to do it here sometimes. Okay, we're safe, we, did, we didn't do it there. It's gonna, it's gonna happen at some point. I'm trying to turn. It's a tight truck. I was putting a looser setup, but I don't know if it would do me any good. Okay, so I don't know, maybe they patched it since then. Maybe, maybe it won't happen. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. But look, what? <laughs> We're low on fuel and qualifying. Why game? Um, I was going to say, and that distracted the crap out of me. I was going to say, I mean, it looked like it wanted to whenever I did my outlap, and uh, the truck is not turning. It's very, very tight. It's, it's like it doesn't turn the way it used to at this track. So that probably ruined my lap. It's a road course, so I doubt I lost that much time. Minivan on a flat part of the track, it's always possible. And sure, you know, the cars, the vehicles, they jump a little bit whenever they hit the curbs, but not just driving on the track. Okay, 15th. The pole is a, a minute and 20 seconds. We, we're 4.7 seconds off. Uh, I probably could have been up to 13th or 12th, maybe 11th, but just way off the freaking side of the track in that um, second to last turn, or third to last, whatever it is. I'm not counting them. Brett Moffat doesn't have to do well in this race. Ross Chastain starting in 11th. Matt Crafton starting 6th. That's good for him. I like to see that. Austin Hill, who is the first driver below the cut line, is starting 4th, so that's great. Myatt Snyder has decided he's going to be consistent in the playoffs. You're not in the playoffs. Why you wait to do that now? I love you, and you're doing this now. Todd Gilland, driver who just hasn't been com competent enough in this game for whatever reason is on the pole. Weird drivers on the pole. I mean, in the last episode of Bristol, we had Mason Massey, Macy, whatever, however you say it, he, he got the pole. Okay, so 13th, so we were we just gained two spots. Okay, was one of the playoff contenders into the back? Please tell me it was not Matt Crafton. I would hate that. Yeah, the, Matt Crafton's right there. Uh, Ross Chastain, the championship implications. Myatt Snyder! 
why did I have to complain? Why? Why, why did I have to do this? It's, everybody's just freaking crashing or not getting past qualifying. I mean, it's a road course, so I guess I can't blame them. Also, it's a road course, so the first corner is a right turn, but they still do that thing where they don't put you in the right lane for a right turn at a road course. I didn't even realize I was driving to the dirt right there. I'm going to get clear. Let's not run over Jordan Anderson, a, a playoff contender who is trying to make it to the top ten. So we got two laps of the first stage. Letting off. Tapping the brakes. And it's, it's still tight. we got four wide end road courses. Great. Grandfinger's probably losing his shit right now. Jennifer Joe Cobb is running well. That's cool. Uh, it was really tight in this turn specifically in qualifying. I'm sure it was a little tight um, in the one that we went driving off the track in a while ago. But this one, that was where I first noticed it. Okay, laying up the gas. They we're safe. Also, these AI, they don't know how to race this track themselves. Like, they they spin and go flying through the grass, and there's just so many memes this game has made out of itself in what if racing is career mode. I mean, that's the only one I've actually been able to keep up with. I've seen bits and pieces of other people's, but it's just every time he goes Canadian Tire, it's like the AI do something dumb. So we start 13th, and we're in 11th, and I think I can pass in for Joe Cobb. Getting a run right here just with the draft. You know, I like about this road course. It has everything. It's got like speedway like turns, but then it's got the tight ones, it's got the hills and Oh my goodness, it, it did it. There the put on the ticker, JC, it did it. It I felt it. Freaking side of the truck was coming off the ground on flat pavement. So you, you don't want to know what it does if you come down the hill at the wrong angle. But this wasn't the first one, but I tested this one out. The oh my god! <laughs> okay, that's number two on the ticker. Turn the damn truck! Oh, no, 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 you are not passing me. I'm having a midlife crisis. Uh, Stuart Friesen is just defying gravity. Leave me alone. He just drove freaking the hell around me. Okay, dive it into this corner. Good grip, good grip, no crossover for you. What the heck? It, it's, it's just... It wouldn't stop turning. Okay, I, I guess this is our limit. 11th place is the limit. I, 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 I can't even turn. This truck is just like, one tire gets off the ground and then it ruins everything. Is that the same thing whenever it just starts spinning like crazy? It's, it seems as if, it doesn't, I don't know if it's wheel spin or what. It's like one tire gets off the ground because how hard we're turning and some crap. We, we're, we are always really low on fuel. This race is something. I mean, Bristol, that, that was something else, but this, I don't know. I just got a DM from Kamikaze Games. Um, I could probably read that after the stage is over. Please turn the truck in this corner. I don't know which one's more difficult, but uh, the one that's tighter, like the, the third turn of the track, it keeps on bicycling. Oh my god! Or that that third to last one. It's like the third corner or the third to last corner. I don't know how to count the turns here. Okay, so eleventh. Won some playoff points, but I think we'll still finish well in here. I don't know about like changing tires. We definitely need to get fuel for whatever reason. The smallest ant-sized fuel tank. Well, not ant-sized, maybe like a, a pint. We have a pint worth of gas. Okay, here we go. Uh, I. What's a, a full tank is three laps. Okay then. I'm gonna not get tires until after we do this stage. Or. No, I'm gonna get my tires now, and then we'll not get tires afterwards. I, I think that sounds smart. Hmm. Well, I gained one position, so that means we get to be on the inside. Hmm. It's, it's just, I don't know if it's the, the best idea or not. I mean, we've got fresh tires now. We gained a spot. It leads me to believe that everybody else got fresh tires. I don't know if they're gonna do it again. Okay, JC, you gotta slow down and turn and stuff. It's you know how to NASCAR, right? Uh, I I want to win. I want to win on one of these playoff races and lock myself in, even though I don't really need to. I just need to finish decently. It's not absolutely terrible in all the races. Getting a good run right here. Okay, use the brakes. Get a little push to Brett Moffat. And Brett Moffat, he didn't start the greatest, but he's he's on the move. And is that Matt Crafton in the lead? We already passed in finger. Matt Crafton is leading here at Canadian Tire. I love. Oh my goodness, there they go, there they go. This guy's jackass up ahead of us. Who, who, you, you made me. Jordan Anderson. <laughs> Immediate payback. Is that a caution? That's a caution. He deserved that. He freaking deserved that. Just threw it in there. I, I barely made the corner, and then he, 
he, he didn't even care if he made the corner. But Matt Crafton won the stage, and I guess he won the first one. Okay, so that prevents me from wearing down the tires throughout the uh, second stage of the race. That is great, and no one is pitting. We got, well, Anthony Alfredo is pitting. Okay, well, no, never mind, they're all pitting. They're just taking their precious time to decide whether or not they want to or how they want to. Okay, so that means we got a pit, but I'm not getting fuel. I'll get right sides, and I ain't repaired damage at a road course. Um, I'll get 1.5 to be safe, because I don't know what's not enough, what's too much. We are in the lead. The camera is spazzing out. I kind of want to let Matt Crafton win, but that's not the... He's going to win anyways, because I only got right side tires and blah, blah, blah. I had a shorter pit stop than most of the field. And I'm probably not even that good while overdriving of corners and getting loose in the most random places. And he's already taken off around me. Okay. Arc it back down. I'll tell you what, the leader's fast. Yeah, what the... I'm trying so hard to just finish the corner, and it won't turn. And then whenever it finally does finish the corner, it just won't stop. It's like, hey, let's go hit that other wall. It's like, take off in the other direction. Let's take up the whole freaking racetrack, will we? Ooh, I go oh my goodness. But where the hell did you come from, and why? Oh, my God. Oh, no, no, don't spin the damn truck. I, I saved him, and then I he unsaved himself. Okay, so... Are we going to be short on fuel now? It's like they, they try to pass me and they come out of nowhere. I don't even have the time to give them room. So we just, that's the crap we wind up. And this truck is just driving so damn dumb. It, I just wobbling and I, I have no words. Ugh, golly, did I really destroy the left front tire in, in one lap? Well, I'm not already did that. I'm on the inside of Matt Crafton. So being in second is better than being first at a restart. Of course, I'm, I'm not winning this race. I'm just like, okay at best. I can drive without flying off the track. I'm kind of losing it. Although I don't know if I really ever had it. I, I'm, I'm being so diligent, it don't matter. Are we going to run out of gas? I mean, they didn't pit, so they got to run out of gas too, right? Does it matter if I get a full tank of fuel or if I get 1.5 cans of fuel or what? Just trying to keep the lead. No, don't, don't, stop, stop, we don't need that. Freaking minivan it up the hill. Minivan, mini, minivan, minivans. Vans for babies. Baby vans. White flag is out, I'm still in the lead. And we're probably going to blow a tire or some crap. Uh, yeah, the, the left front's going down on us, and, and Matt Crafton got around us, I was expecting that. I kind of just probably held up for a really long time. <laughs> Johnny Sarr is trying to make a pass. And I'm not watching my mirror. I'm trying to watch the track. Just get the good brakes in there. Oh, please turn. What is this corner? There goes Todd Gilland. Start on pole. Still running second. Good run for him. And Brett Moffat is... I think he's going to wind up winning the championship. Things has got a lot difficult right here. We, they're going to split us. They're going to... What? It's not gymnastics. No splits. We don't need to do the splits. Freaking three wide in a place we're not supposed to be three wide. Uh, no, no, don't, don't end the race under caution. Okay, fine. I, I, I have no control of my truck anymore. It won't stop turning. I can't focus on everything around me because there's like four trucks. And then he's spinning because I'm losing so many positions at once. Like, my tires are dead and their stills are alive. And I got four tires. And then I got two tires. I don't know, we never really lost or gained that much ground aside from getting to lead to start the final stage. It's just a big old freaking mess. I don't even know where I finished, what, third, second, because I kept on trading and losing positions. Oh, fifth. Were there really that many trucks in front of me? Well, at least Matt Crafton's still won. I really wanted to see that happen, so he's locked into the next round, and Brett Moffat is locked in. Brett Moffat had a good run. Todd Gillen, um, he's just been having a um, good run in this race, and he didn't make the playoffs, and I would have expected to, but I guess he's just not as good in ask for Heat 4 as he was in Heat 3. And Myatt Snyder, he got sent to the back, like you saw in the pre-race show, and he finished in seventh. But why? Why couldn't you have done that in the, the regular season? That would have been fantastic. I would love that. I want to see Myatt Snyder be competent. The last time I actually saw Myatt Snyder close to winning something was like Martinsville. Um, 
I think at the beginning of 2019, uh, he wound up losing the race Johnny Sauter or something like that. I don't know. I always lose track of time. Maybe it was 2018 or something. Who knows? Uh, well, Ben Rhodes won a stage, and Matt Crafton won a stage. So I'm guessing Ben Rhodes won the first one. I, I was on the impression that Matt Crafton won the first one, actually. But after the second race in the first round of the playoffs, Brett Moffat in, Matt Crafton in, and then there's us, and we're locked in because we have 55 points over the cut line. And I don't know if it was safe to say that we were also locked in whenever we went to the Canadian Tire Race because it's you know it's smaller points for the truck series in this game. But uh, Harrison Burton, Ross Chastain, and Grant Finger, I could care less if Grant Finger gets in there. Um, I would like to see Ross Chastain over Harrison Burton. I kind of want to see Austin Hill at least make it to the next round because it was kind of like an underdog story with him actually running well um, in Canadian Tire. He started well in that race, and he's just nine points below the line right now. And um, he's just been you know, just slightly consistent throughout the entire season. Never won anything, just like one playoff point, but just been consistent enough. Who knows? Maybe Austin will just freaking win the championship. That that would be amazing. That would be like Matt Crafton winning the actual 2019 Truck Series after not winning anything. And by the way, that actually happened. Because he was just, you know, more consistent than everybody else. He wasn't even consistent. And everybody else was winning. When they're not winning, they're just finishing like crap and choking. But next up is race 19, the final race of the first round of the playoffs, and that is the World of Westgate 200. Uh, we finished in 7th place in the first Las Vegas race, so I just want to finish better in this one. And I think that was right front part 2, because we, we blew the right front tire, and that's not going to happen anymore. So I think I'm going to win this race. be my 8th one of the season, I don't need to. But yeah, they, they did patch in the whole freaking right front tire crap. And I kind of missed that. I was hoping we'd get like right front part 10 in this just series of NASCAR Heat Let's Plays. That would have been great. But see you next time. That's that and episode over.